here are my top uh, six animals that would kill a short-faced bear. Of course, I'm using animals during the Pleistocene. Giant Number one, giant sloth. The giant sloth has very powerful razor-sharp claws and they would probably rip a, a short-faced bear in the face or gouge out an eyeball or chase the bear away. Plus, I think that the giant sloth was a little bit heavier or maybe was a little bit the same size as the short-faced bear, um, but the giant sloth is affordable um, opponent for a short faced bear so I really think that a short faced bear would probably would leave a giant sloth alone unless it was completely desperate for food and then we have um, the protocidians the mammoths and mastodons the Colombian mammoth woolly mammoth and American mastodon I think that a short-faced bear would not mess around with a mammoth or a mastodon. I don't think even an injured one, a bear can, a short-faced bear would not mess around with. <laughs> Perhaps maybe a dying mammoth or mastodon or a calf, but a full-grown adult mastodon and a, and a mammoth are, they're very, um, they're very hard to kill. I mean, with mastodons, you know, mastodons they have sh they have sharp tusks and they could like hit a bear with the tusks. And mammoths are probably much worse because they're larger and they're heavier. Um, a Colombian mammoth's like thirteen feet at the shoulder, um, or fourteen feet. That's larger. Than an African elephant, so even like even a lone mammoth, you know, a short-faced bear would just leave it alone, or an old. Same with woolly mammoths too. <laughs> and then we have possibly. Then again, we don't know, but but some scientists are saying that it's a solitary hunter the American lion yes I know that we know that it's possible that the American lion was a solitary hunter but if it's possible if it did live in prides no matter how big or large it's possible that a pride of American lions would scare away a solitary short-faced bear and it also depends on numbers and I also think that maybe a pair of, of two pride males would probably scare away a short-faced bear nomadic males on the other hand and and a small pride of females like maybe two or three females they would probably run away from a short-faced bear but if it was if it was like five females or with one pride male, um, a short-faced bear would probably run away or it would just try not to find something else. But again, really, um, I know it's been going back and forth with this <laughs> debate, but the American Lion may be a solitary hunter and if it is a solitary hunter well a short-faced bear would would probably would, would chase away a, a lone lion but if it was like a yearling short-faced bear like if it was like out of its own since day one um or something i think that a young short-faced bear would you know would leave a lone lion alone unless like if it's like getting into its prime state then yeah and then humans and i also forgot about humans it should be seven but not six in the documentary prehistoric predators it kind of makes sense really 
how to kill a short-faced bear. If you were an early human, and if a short-faced bear was trying to scavenge your carcass, you, of course, you would have no choice but to either run or fight against the bear. And if you fight against the bear, you would obviously have to use a spear point. The outer level dart. Now, you can't hit a, a bear in the head because you'll be bear food or you'll just piss off the bear, you know. So, it's a bad idea to hit the bear on the head or on the forehead in particular. So, the best bet is that if the bear stands up, then man would, well, then the the hunters would probably throw the spear and hit the bear's lung areas or the heart, just like in the documentary. And it's right because, you know, there's vital areas. So your best bet is try to hit the bear in the head, I mean, in the heart or lungs. You know, you can't hit the bear on the legs. You can't hit the bear on the forehead or in the head in general so the best bet is the heart or lungs when the bear stands up that's pretty much it 